Thank you for joining us this evening, and uh, we're going to share some more information concerning the name of the Mashiach or the name of the Messiah. And uh, we've been talking about the fact is that the name of the Mashiach is Yahusha, and it's not some of these other variations of his name that you've seen. Um, and um, you know, it's uh, it's really important that we know the reason why we know or you should know that why you use the name Yahusha and not these other variations. Uh, I'm going to show you again, this is the the Mashiach's name Yahusha. This is uh, from uh, left to right. The first three letters uh, are pronounced as Yahoo and the last two letters are Yah, I mean Sha. This is a, this here letter, it looks like a W, it's actually a Shin and the looks like an O here is a Ayin and it's pronounced Sha. Now this is where we get the word Yasha from. It's Hebrew number 3467, which is actually the verb form of the word salvation. The Sha part is the noun form of the word salvation. Uh, you don't need the, yo, the Yod in here. When you combine these letters together, just like we have the, the, the three letters here, Yahush, Yahoo, it's missing uh, the last letter of Yahuwah's name. That's because we're connecting two words together so you would drop the last part of Yahuwah's name and you would also drop this Yod here because it's a verb it, for Yasha is a verb part of the, the word salvation but the Shin and the Ayin would represent the noun part so you, you have the name Yahuwah or Yahu Sha or salvation put them together you have Yahusha um, here we hit, here's Yahu and then Sha that's how it's pronounced says here Sha is the root of Yasha and, and that's right this is a root word this these two letters make up the root of the word Yasha uh, one of the things is that's, that's not accurate in modern Hebrew they'll tell you that you have to have three letters to make up a root word and that's not true there's many examples uh, in the Tanakh where the two these two letters here added with a, another different suffix or prefix make up different uh, words with these letters here so the the actual root though is Sha is salvation here and um, it also it means salvation deliverance help and victory uh, so I want to show that to you again tonight before we go any further uh, one other thing I want to talk about again is the fact that where the most of the confusion uh, resides is in the when you look up the name um, first of all Jesus and then realize that when you look that up it'll give you refer you to the Greek number G4 G2424 and then it'll tell you about the uh, Greek pronunciation or the uh, the Latin which is the the where we have the word Jesus and then Iesus uh, again the creator would never would never had named his son Jesus or Iesus um, he would he's Hebrew he would be given uh, Hebrew name Hebrew name and um, he was given Yahusha as the name of the Mashiach. But when you look this up, it'll refer you, says it'll tell you to the origin of the name is Hebrew, and it'll refer you to the Hebrew number 306, uh, 3091. And I pointed out to you in our previous teachings that uh, the strong concordance is good, but it's, it's based upon uh, the Masoretic text, which means that the in fact all all of our translations that we have basically are, are from the Masoretic text uh, and that only dates back to about uh, the 10th century and um, that's when they were using the vowel points to change the way that words were pronounced and because of that the the uh, there's just a not accurate pronunciation of the Mashiach's name nor the Creator's name because they vowel pointed these names to change the way they were pronounced so when you look this up in your strong concordance, it's going to give you the name Yahushua. And um, but what's very interesting about this is that when you look up the root word for uh, the Mashiach, you're going to find that it's going to tell you the etymology of the word is from Hebrew number 3068, which is the Creator's name, Yod, He, Ua, He, and then it's going to have and. Uh, Hebrew number 3467, which is Yasha. So, no Shua is mentioned here. Which Shua, if you look 
that number up. It's, he it's uh, Hebrew number 7768 and Hebrew number 7769. And the meaning of Shua is to cry out. It's not salvation. Hebrew number 3467, which is Yasha, if you look that up, you'll find that's what exactly what it means. It means salvation, deliverance, um, wholeness, completeness. and um, But the word Shua means to cry out. So why do they have it? Uh, why does why does he have it translated to Yahushua? It's because it was vowel pointed uh, in order to get that pronunciation. And so I'm bringing that out again, stressing to you that uh, even a third grader could understand that if you put Yahuwah's name and Yasha together, you have Yahusha, not Yahushua. So with that said, we're going to stop here, and uh, I'm going to getting some more information with you next time uh, that's going to uh, be a little bit more elaborate we'll spend more time I want to bring out some words that I'm going to show you in the Tanakh where you're going to see the the uh, two letter shin, the uh, shin and the ayin used as a noun uh, for salvation and uh, you'll see that you, that uh, these two letters make up the root of the word salvation so Look forward to our time next, next our next session, and uh, I, I trust you've been blessed. Let me know if you're, if you are, if you're liking the teaching, you're enjoying it. Then let me know that it encourages me to keep going, and uh, I appreciate your support. And uh, Yahuwah loves you. I love you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Shalom.